Enter the world of 18th century court life for a Lunar New Year celebration fit for an emperor. Here at the Hong Kong Palace Museum, visitors can experience how one of China's longest ruling emperors, the art-loving Qianlong, celebrated the holiday. I would describe the Lunar New Year celebration as a symphony of the senses. Uh, you know, it's, it's less about, you know, what you see, fabulous things, but also you have to imagine what the emperor and his families would hear, what they would taste, what kind of things they would touch, and what are the aromas they would smell. We really have to use all our senses to imagine what happened 300 years ago inside the Forbidden City. Each object on display has been meticulously crafted, many commissioned by the emperor himself. And if you look closely, they are filled with auspicious meanings. Everything has a hidden meaning. For example, if you look at a beautiful vase, it means a peace, because ping and a ping an, right? The character for vase has the same pronunciation with the character for peace. There are tons of fertility symbols as well, but also gourd. The gourd contains many, many seeds. And also the gourd is known in China as hulu. And it has a similar pronunciation with the words for wealth and auspicious. One of the gallery's standout pieces is a regal dragon robe in vermilion silk and real gold thread. Festival attire for the emperor and only the emperor. But there are many holiday traditions from the Imperial Palace that are still practiced today, like the decorative use of colorful and symbolic flowers, as well as hanging wall decorations carrying auspicious messages. I hope that a lot of visitors will come and really connect these ancient objects uh, with their personal life today. Chinese New Year is China's most important holiday and also one of the busiest times for travel for Hong Kong, which until recently endured some of the world's toughest COVID restrictions. The holiday is a much needed boost for the tourism sector. Visitors can venture inside the new $450 million building, a treasure trove of relics, more than 900 on loan from Beijing's Forbidden City, all inviting discovery in the year of the rabbit. Christy Lustow, CNN, Hong Kong.